Hi, this is Cheryl from Manhattan Wardrobe Supply, and today I'm going to show you how to take white sneakers and bling them out. We need several Angelus products. We need antique gold paint, we need white paint, we need gold glitterites, and we need a finisher. You also need rags, you need Q-tip, popsicle stick, brushes, a glove, my favorite, frog tape, and a hair dryer. So the first step we need to do is we need to deglaze our shoe. So we take the Angelus Prepare Deglazer, put a little on our rag, and then we apply it to our shoe using a circular motion, thoroughly taking off the factory finish on our shoe, allowing for the pores to open up and accept the paint. Okay, our next step, we need to mask off the rubber sole, which is the area I do not want to paint. Tape doesn't stick to the mesh area, so we are going to just be very careful not get paint on those areas. So to start with, we're just going to place our tape here, continue all the way around. Now as you go around curves, you're going to be making a bend all the way around the shoe. The next thing we need to do is we need to paint the grommets. So I have a little bit of white paint and I'm just going to do some thin layers right over the grommets. So I'm ready for my first coat of gold paint. So I've pre-poured my paint into my little container here using long strokes paint my first coat. Now you can see that this is really thin. You're probably thinking whoa that's going to take a long time. Well it's going to take five coats. I've painted one coat on a hot setting. I blow dry the shoe. It literally melts the leather paint into the shoe helping you remove any lines you may have created and you should do this in between every coat. Now we're ready for coat number two. This coat you are going to paint your gold paint in the opposite direction of the first coat. Same very light strokes but in the opposite direction. Use the q-tips and the deglazer to take out any boo-boos. So now you're ready to paint with the glitterites. Don't forget to stir it first with your popsicle stick as the glitter tends to settle. You paint this in the very long brush strokes as you did the first time you painted the first coat of the shoe and you do two coats of the glitterite. The last step is to add your finisher to just the gold part, not the glitterites part. You dip your brush in and you apply it to the entire shoe like this and then let it dry. These are ready for wearing after oh, 24 hours. You can paint your whole shoe or you can paint accent portions such as in this sandal. For tips, tricks, and industry news, follow us at Manhattan Wardrobe Supply. Bye.